This video is called A Day in the Life of Jesus. And the story is from Luke, chapter 4, starting in verse 31. But I will go back and read verses 18 and 19 also, because it starts out where Jesus is teaching in the church. Then he went down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbaths. Now what he had read earlier in Nazareth was from the Old Testament. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And we can see that that is from Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 and 2. So Jesus was probably reading something like that again today, this day in his life. And the Bible says that as um, they were astonished at his teaching, for his word was with authority. Now, in the synagogue, there was a man who had a spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. So here we have the gentleman sitting there listening to Jesus speaking with all the others, and suddenly he jumps up and says, Leave us alone, Jesus! Leave us alone! I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And the Bible says that Jesus said, Come out, evil spirit. And when the evil spirit had thrown him down in the midst of all the people, he came out. And I think the man probably got up after that and said, Wow, I feel better. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And he felt like a new man. Thanks to Jesus. He probably was able to just sit down and listen to the rest of the teaching. Well, after church, Jesus and four of his disciples, there was... um. Peter, Andrew, they were brothers, and James and John were with them, went over to Peter's house. Here we have Peter and Andrew, they were brothers, and they told Jesus that Peter's mother-in-law was sick. The Bible says, He arose from the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. But Simon's wife's mother was sick with a high fever, and they made request of him concerning her. So he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she rose up and served them. So Jesus came in the house. They told him about their dear wife's mother. And it said he stood over her and rebuked the fever. That means he said, come out, fever. And in other books it says he took her by the hand. Anyway, the great part is that she immediately got up and felt better. And she was able to get up and serve them. She went over in the kitchen. She felt like a new person. And of course they were all happy about that because they were hungry. 
Well, they had a great dinner. And afterwards, they were just probably sitting and talking. But it said that they found out when the sun was setting, all those that had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And demons also came out of many, crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew he was Christ. You see, after church, the people were saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the report about him went out into every place in the surrounding region. So in another book it said that out in the front yard, I guess they just looked out the window, the whole city was gathered together. And they told Jesus, and Jesus got up and went outside and healed every person that was sick and cast out all the evil spirits that were oppressing the people. That's because of what we read here. He was sent from God to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We receive it, that we are healed and we are forgiven, thanks to you coming down from heaven and dying on the cross for us. Thank you, Jesus.